Hello everyone, can we talk? I have a couple of questions for you. Are you a prepper? Are you a homesteader? Actually, I have a couple questions. Are you thinking about becoming a homesteader? And last but not least, are you concerned about being more self-sufficient, especially as times are changing and things, uh, taxes could go up, food could go up, or inflation could go up? What are your concerns? What are you looking for? And uh, I ask you to put that in the des uh, description or well, down in the comments below and, and, and let us know what areas that you're really interested in as far as getting started, uh, growing food, uh, preserving food, <laughs> um, having a homestead, having property, uh, pets and animals. Take the time right now, I'm asking you, to go down in the comments and, and let us know what kind of things that you're um, trying to get answers to. Or Sherry and I have only been on this homestead or, or five acres here for about uh, eight to nine months. So uh, we have a place that has lots of room and has a lot of pretty things and stuff, but needed a lot of repairs like getting the siding in the house and new roof. Uh, a lot of basic stuff and then uh, a yard that was I don't want to say neglected but couldn't be kept up anymore so we had to backtrack a little bit and uh, clean, clean up the flower beds and stuff but now we're getting into infrastructure and so our goals were different than Sherry's folks that lived here before they they were in the flowers and grass and uh, and that was about it and and that was okay and that's okay <laughs> nothing wrong with that however we wanted to make our property a little bit more self-reliant so that's where the chickens came in and now you can see back there the new greenhouse uh, utilizing the green room you can kind of see my the pink line there's the growing lights and uh, then we got uh, interested in growing food a little differently uh, so we're looking at hydroponics so uh, hydroponics is not having to uh, deal with soil. And why am I concerned about that is because we don't have the best soil here. Uh, everybody's a little different, but we have a real um, sandy kind of soil. And this is kind of a new experiment. So I've shown this to you in the last video. We're going to uh, put blueberries in the center. And along this drop down, it drops down here. Did you guys get out of my garden? Um, all along here is going to be stakes in the ground like that. And this, for example, we'll have a stake in the ground right here, like those. And we're going to use the little clover leaf stackables. And what we're going to do is, I'm not doing a return water system, it's a one way system. So I'm probably going to put a tank here, like a 55 gallon tank, and it's going to water a set of strawberries on racks all around this bend here. And uh, so my biggest um, thing I'll have to do is, is refill the, bu the barrel every few days, and because I'm only going to water like, oh, three minutes a day, maybe one, two or three times a day. A little pump will uh, drop nutrients into uh, these little stands with the strawberries and uh, <laughs> we'll see where it goes from there. It'll also get a little bit of natural water too because I have a sprinkler system around here. So it's kind of an experiment because and I'm curious if this is concerns of you guys with uh, soil and, and work but uh, once those are built it would be pretty easy but I was developing this whole area to be a regular ground garden. 
why am I concerned about that? And why did I want to change? Well, one is I need to supplement this soil really bad. Two, we, uh, I don't want to deal with as many critters getting into my, uh, my uh, vegetables and stuff. Uh, I'm still going to do some regular ground stuff here too <laughs> in the soil. I did put five yards of uh, compost in here and I put a little bit in here and I've got compost pile over here and I got my own compost bin. Uh, so some of this I'm going to use hydroponics and some of it conventional. Why? Just maybe to compare the two. So this is my year of experimentation. And why am I experimenting? Is because I came from Arizona and I had two seasons to grow stuff. Here I got to deal with a couple of crazy things. One is uh, how <laughs> these guys are playing away too hard. You gonna live, Cinder? Anyway, uh, um, I got to deal with the cold and know when I can put stuff out. And that's what the uh, greenhouse is all about. And then I got chickens that help give us eggs and we can uh, use their droppings and stuff like that. Poor little girl. <laughs> you gonna live, Cinder? <laughs> you good? <laughs> oh, poor baby. Um, so anyway, uh, uh, I may get some pet chucker. I like chucker. And uh, just for pets. And then, of course, I was telling you with this property is there was a lot of grass, tons of grass. It takes three hours to mow this lawn every week. And uh, we might reduce some of this grass. Uh, in fact, I wouldn't mind a really nice big greenhouse over there, too. <laughs> Someday. It only took us six months to get this one built. But uh, I really, I'd like to have you participate a little bit of some of the things that we're doing. I've been kind of skimming over the things that we're doing here. And I've got so much more. And uh, I'm not spending a lot of time in the details of how we're building everything. Um, but... Uh, my biggest projects coming up here is one is that those <laughs> strawberries over there, the, sta the stands. Two is get the infrastructure inside the greenhouse um, built up so we can get this running. And I want to try that Dutch bucket system, which is hydroponics. And there's so many ways of doing hydroponics. Like I'm doing hydroponics in our uh, green room. And I'm doing it in a little different way than others do. A lot of people just put their stuff in water with nutrients. And I'll probably try that out too. But I wanted to see how I could do with coconut core and uh, volcanic additives in using nutrients. Um, and uh, I could change. None of this is set in stone. But uh, this video is talking to you guys. And what are you doing for homesteading or what are you doing for a house that's a little more self-sufficient no you don't have to have five acres a, a half an acre one acre acre and a half what do you want to do with that do you want to do anything with that at all how are you concerned about the future and uh, the cost of things and being more self-sufficient in how to preserve food. I'm telling you right now, the freeze dryer is the greatest thing ever. I, we've put more food away in the last week, week and a half since we've had this thing than we were doing when we kept going to Costco and buying stuff there. And you saw the, you guys see the prices of freeze dried one week buckets, you know, and stuff. You're looking at 60 to 100 bucks. And, uh, like today, when my uh, freeze dryer is done, we're going to do we're doing blueberries, strawberries, and peppers, just bell peppers. Um, right now, it's a lot of condiment kind of stuff we're doing, or cooking stuff. But uh, eventually, we're going to start doing meals and soups, and it's just an amazing machine. <clears throat> and the money you would spend to buy that from a, oh, a Patriot Supply Group or something would be a uh, a lot of money. Of course, we spend a lot of money on the freeze dryer. It's going to take a while for it to pay for itself, but it's happening fast. 
So, uh, anyway, I just thought instead of doing my chicken run and... <laughs> Hi, guys. You feel better? Hi. This is Cinder. And she has to put up with this puppy. But it keeps her young. <laughs> I know, it squirreled on you. So, come on, guys. Comment below. Tell me what you're thinking. Tell me what you want to see. Tell me what your goals are. And, uh, share them with the world. And let's get a discussion going. Uh, I've got so many projects going on. We uh, have a lot of other channels we're working on. And so, for me to get my work done and to work in this homestead, I'm tired. And then Sherry works a 9 to 5 job right now um, for a little while. Because uh, the realities are we got to pay for this stuff. And we got to have health care. And so, what are you trying to weigh between what your goals are, what you're willing to do, what you'd like to do. And uh, tell me some of the channels and some of the things that you've been watching that you really enjoy. And uh, we'll change our style here a little bit. I don't mind. Um, I know I'm an, an old dog, but I think I could learn some new tricks. So guys, so I want to say thank you so much for all the new subscribers. Uh, channel's doing great. We appreciate it very much. So please hit that like button. Please subscribe if you're new and uh, share our videos all over and take the time in the comments below and tell us what you're thinking. We appreciate it. Be professional. We appreciate that too <clears throat> and we will too. So guys have a great day. Thank you for watching and we'll talk to you later. Bye now. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. Available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.